I can't wait till 2020 comes and we can start talking about vision and clarity and right and how you see the future. <laughs> it's just gonna be so much easier to create content. Right. <laughs> I changed my vision from being short-term to long-term. And I don't know that I can sit here and tell you how to do that um, for you. It's very personal. Uh, it's very different for everyone's uh, circumstance. Uh, but for me, it was finally making that switch of, of doing the things that I'm doing today, not for what I get today, but what I get five years from now, 10 years from now. Um, that was probably the biggest change uh, for me this year. And that was really just a mental change that I had to go through. And so it's getting crystal clear on the end goal um, which, you know, you can look at that as your why, uh, but it's really just like, what do you want? When that is super clear, then everything else, like we all find time for the things that are important. And the reality is if you're not finding time for it, it's just not important to you. Something that I've struggled with, um, over the years is, is really figuring out like, like long-term down the road, like what it looks like, what you're working towards, what you want. Um, but even in the short term, like figuring out like what, what you want. It's like, what do you want? What, what do you want in your life? Like, what is the life that you ultimately want to live? What does it look like? And to take yourself through this process where you dig deeper and deeper and deeper in that. Keep asking yourself why. What does that look like? Why do I want that? And what does that specifically look, at, look, look like? And just get clear layer by layer by layer into what ultimately you want your life to look like and then design a path to get there. You may think this is cheesy. You may think it's cliche. You may think it's a waste of time. I don't care. Dream board, vision board, whatever you want to call it. I think it has tremendous value. My wife and I did one at the beginning of this year, 2017. We did ours on a huge poster board. And if you walk into our master bathroom, you walk right in, you got the double sinks, and right in between them in the mirror, I have put up our vision board. So we look at it every single day. I look at it every single day uh, when I'm at home and I see these things that we wanna do, places we wanna go, um, different things we wanna experience, different organizations we wanna give to, different um, homes that we wanna have, have, like just everything it's just a dream board it's a vision board and we start marking those things off when it happens I'll take it a step further and here's what I've done with my vision board and I think this will be interesting and uh, impactful for some of you that that want to take it this far I took a picture of it and I saved it as the wallpaper on my iPhone so literally every single time I pull out my phone which you can imagine is a bunch every single time I see my vision board I see my dream board I see all these different things that I'm going after. I see my whys, right? And it's a constant reminder. It's constant, constantly putting myself, uh, keeping things in perspective. So every day I'm seeing these things and that is the law of attraction. Call it materialistic, whatever. If you wanna get a Lamborghini next year, break it down. Okay, I need $200,000. Yep. So here's how much I have to make per month in order to get that Extra. at the end of this year. Right. And here's the action items. Like here's the things that I have to do on a daily basis in order to generate the revenue to meet that goal to be able to then purchase that vehicle. And yep. you can map it out. Like whatever it is, you can map it out.